Hi, welcome to this short video where I'm going to be discussing and talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Now this is aimed at GCSE level maths, but it also may be appropriate for A level pure maths um, and also key stage 3 maths and also even possibly the IGC specification and all the other appropriate um, exam boards, okay, that are either UK or international exam boards, okay. So, what I'm going to be talking about today, guys, is parallel and perpendicular lines. So, this is just some short, quick facts about parallel and perpendicular lines, okay. So, if two lines are parallel, they have what we call the same gradient, so the same number in front of the x. So so a straight line is given by y equals mx plus c, where m is your gradient, so how steep the line is, and c is your y-intercept, okay? So if a line is parallel, then it has the same coefficient gradient, okay, in front of the straight line, okay? So it has the same number in front of the x, okay? Now, if a line is perpendicular, then it means that they have what we call a negative reciprocal with one one another, actually. And you might think, or might ask me, what do you mean by the word reciprocal? Well, reciprocal just means one over a number, okay? So, if two lines are perpendicular, then the products of those uh, lines, okay, the products of the gradients have to multiply to give me negative one, okay, so let's say a gradient of a line is two, then the negative reciprocal would be minus a half, so you flip it and then you make it negated, okay, so make the sign negative, okay, so the two gradients must multiply to give me negative one, okay, and then if the gradient was negative four, then the negative reciprocal of that would be positive a quarter, because it's already negative, so we're going to make it positive, okay, so that is that for that one, okay, so, just to summarise, guys, if two lines are parallel, they never meet, i.e. they have the same gradient. And if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of the gradients multiplied to give me negative 1. Okay, so that is how to deal with parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay. So that's it for today's video, guys. It was a nice, short, sharp video, okay, on parallel and perpendicular lines. So they might ask you in the exam, okay, give a reason why these two lines are parallel or give a, or give a reason why these two lines are not parallel and it's following these rules, okay. And a little disclaimer here, actually, yeah, if you're asked about perpendicular lines, that's explicitly for the higher tier only and it links also to a topic where you're looking at intersection of lines okay because if you have two parallel lines they meet at a right angle by the definition of the word perpendicular okay and also that they will have a point of intersection so they have a point where the two lines meet okay one another okay at a specific point okay that's only for perpendicular lines though okay for parallel lines the lines will never meet okay so a question in the exam year might say give a reason why these two lines are perpendicular is because the gradients are negative reciprocals of one another or that the product of their gradients multiplied to give me negative one okay so that is another justification. Okay, right guys, so that is the end of today's short, sharp video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And lastly, please click that bell icon so you don't miss out on further videos and further uploads. Okay, but that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.